Hi guys, Tommy Nordpol here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna take you for a walk in the park, but not any park, the Ekeberg Park in Oslo that is just right behind me. Let's get to it. We start our trip at the tram station with the same name as the park. Already from here you can see the iconic Oslo buildings, the Rathaus, King Palace and the Holmen Kollen ski jump. That little island on the horizon is where we did our last cooking episode. Link to it you can check at the top of the screen. So what is it special about Ekeberg Park that I decided to show it to you? Ekeberg Park is an exposition to more than 40 sculptures made by the international artists. Some of them might be quite controversial, but I guess art is art. Oh, that's not a statue. When everything will go back to normal, you have cafeterias over here, restaurant up above. But for now, we just enjoy the park itself. Here even the bird feeders are the work of art. Near Ekeberg restaurant you're gonna get the most clear view of the Oslo city line. The building in the center of the image is the new Munch Museum and this park has something in common with it. It might get really spooky here sometimes. Definitely watch out for this lamp when you are here in the evening all alone. But you're gonna find some funny moments here as well. Even if you are not a huge fan of the world of art, you might seen already somewhere this sculpture by Damien Hirst. In my opinion, the best piece in the Ekeberg Park. What's a better place to have a lunch and drink some coffee? Imagine this place in the summertime. Another one of my favorite sculptures here is called Dilemma. Once in a while, all of us have to make a difficult choice to jump into unknown. If you wish to spend more time in the Ekeberg Park, it might be a nice sculpture hunting game for you. But if you don't have map with you, it might be quite challenging to find them all. Is it a love story of every couple? Is it art or is it just stone on the stone? All this modern art and tourist spots are very impressive. But there's one final piece to the puzzle that I'm gonna show you. So here our story ends today in the place where Moon get inspired to create such an iconic painting almost 130 years ago. On the horizon you can see the new Moon Museum. The landscape has changed quite a bit since the old days, but still over here in this spot you can have your own version of Scream by Edvard Munch. Ah! Thank you very much for watching, that's all for today. If you enjoyed that episode and you want to see more content like that, consider subscribing to this channel. Until then, bye for now.